Why is a powered USB hub one of the most important pieces of gear that you can own in your mobile studio? Well, in this video, you're gonna find out. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and this is Studio Live Today where I help you create, record and release your best music. So if you're into tips, tricks, tutorials and other videos, consider subscribing. But today we're talking about these little beauties here, the powered USB hubs and how useful they are. So here's the bottom line. What can you do with these? Well, you can connect up however many USB ports you have here. That's how many USB devices you can connect to your iPad or your iPhone. It's as cool as it sounds. So let's dive in now and take a look. So it breaks down like this. If you want to connect a USB MIDI keyboard or a USB audio interface into your Mac or your PC, well, all you need is the USB cable because your Macs and your PCs already have multiple USB ports that you can plug directly into. But what about if you want to connect to your iPhone or your iPad? Well, all you've got here is a lightning port. So how do we connect up our USB devices to our iPad or our iPhone? And the answer is one of these, a lightning to USB adapter. Adapter. So this is the Lightning to USB 3 adapter by Apple. It has a USB port and a Lightning port, which means that when we grab our iPhone or iPad, we can plug it in there into the Lightning port, and now we can connect up our USB devices and keep our iPad or our iPhone charged at the same time. Now, if you want to learn more about Lightning to USB adapters, you can check out the video linked up the top there. You can also jump into the description where I've got links to where you can pick up one of these adapters. And those links are affiliate links, which means if you make a purchase, they'll break off a little piece and send it my way. So this is cool, right? We can now connect up any USB device. We can grab our Steinberg UR12 and we can plug that directly in to our iPhone or our iPad and we're good to go. But there's a few problems here. One of them is that we need to actually power some of our devices. So something like this Steinberg UR12 can be powered by a separate five volt DC current. So we can plug in a USB power bank or we can power it via USB. But if we power it via USB, our iPhone or our iPad does not have enough power. So how do we overcome that? It's a powered USB hub. So not only does this little legend allow us to connect multiple USB devices, we can also power those USB devices directly from our USB hub. And that's why I've said the word powered a bunch of times because you need to pick up a hub that actually connects to AC power. So that's super important because so many hubs sold these days don't actually plug in and they are not going to be useful because you need to be able to power your hub to make sure you can power your devices. So now let's jump into some of the recommended hubs that you can pick up to power your devices. Now, the challenge with recommending powered USB hubs is that there are different power standards and different voltages in different parts of the world. So I can really only give you my personal experience from what I've used here in Australia. However, I have done some research and spoken to other folks and got their recommendations around which powered USB hubs they use in other parts of the world. So let's jump in and take a look at that now. Now, for those here in Australia, this is the one I recommend. I've used these Belkin four-port USB 2 hubs for a long time. They do the job. They're small, they're portable, and they're really reliable. So as well as the Swan I have here that's no longer made, the Belkin is another one that I have in my kit that I use quite a lot. There's a link down below to where you can pick one up, or you can go into your Officeworks, your Harvey Norman, your other types of stores, and get a powered USB hub. I know many of you are in the US, so I spoke to my US friends and they recommend Anchor brand. So Anchor make a four port, they also make a seven port, but this is the one that a lot of folks tend to use with their iOS and their mobile recording setup. So it's a four port USB three hub and it's just $18 US at the moment on Amazon. So it looks like a good deal. And yes, I'm a little bit jealous that I can't buy these here in Australia because they don't use the right sort of power supply and power plug. But if you're in the US, they are a highly recommended. And once again, I haven't used them, but they are definitely recommended. They get good ratings and a lot of folks use the Anchor powered USB hubs. If you're in Canada, you can also pick up some of the Anchor branded powered USB hubs. Or if you're looking for something a little bit more budget, the Amazon Basics range are available in most parts of the world. And from what I've heard in the reports and the reviews I've read, they do a pretty good job as well. So that's another one that you can consider. But again, make sure it's a powered USB hub. When you're clicking through, make sure that it's actually got the power supply included so that you can power up your devices. 
For those in the UK, it seems like Atola are one of the brands that make a lot of powered USB hubs still, and this one's available for just £18. On Amazon, it looks like a really good deal with the USB 3 and those individual switches. If you have used any of these hubs, make sure you let me know in the comments down below. I don't want to be recommending something that is not going to be good, so I'm hoping I also get some recommendations from you folks that I can then include in the description. For those in other parts of Europe, Germany, Italy, and other countries, the Anchor brand is also available there with a Euro plug to make sure it works in your power system. So I really hope that we get these down here in Australia at some stage because they look like they are the best bang for buck and the most reliable ones. And as I said, all the reviews I've read, here's the one in Italy as well, all the reviews I've read have been really good with these Anchor branded hubs. Now, if you're in other parts of Europe, so here in Spain, you can pick up the CSL and these also seem to get really good reviews. They're a very simple powered USB 3 hub, but they tend to get good reviews and do a good job. So there you go. As I mentioned before, I can only vouch for the powered USB hubs that I've used here in Australia, but if you get a USB hub that has data transfer and a power plug to make sure it plugs into AC power, you should be good to go. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.